Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. I do want to apologize first of all for the video quality. Not sure how they're going to come out. It's like one thing after the other has been happening. Um, I'm trying to get these readings out to you guys. Um, and I made it definitely my mission. So here I am recording on my laptop. Um, Anyways, it's been a long, long day. My day still has not ended. It is now probably 340 in the morning. So anyways, let's get into these readings as I promised that I would put the effort and um, prepare you guys for the month of May. So here we are. Let's get into it. I've already shuffled and cut the deck for you, Scorpios. Uh, so let's see what spirit has for you guys. In regards to communication for the month of May 2018 with the element of air, you have the Justice card. So the Justice card as communication, uh, you're definitely going to be communicating very honestly, very being very blunt for the month of May 2018. Also, uh, the Justice card definitely speaks about um, standing up for people that feel or that may be weaker than you. Definitely not playing the bystander type of role for the month of May. I feel that um, balancing the scale is what you're doing for the month of May. Um, so this could be, you know, if you see people that are being mistreated or being treated unfairly, you're definitely going to speak up for them and stand up for them. If you feel like you've been taken advantage of or people are mistreating you or taking advantage of you, the month of May is definitely going to be not the month that they want to mess with you because you're definitely going to be speaking your mind, uh, which is a beautiful, beautiful characteristic of Scorpio as it is anyways. But I feel that for the month of May, you're definitely going to go hard on letting people know when they push your buttons like, hey, you know, I took notice of that and I'm not going to be dealing with your bullshit. Um, very straightforward and to the point. In regards to your finances with the element of earth, you have the shadow side. So the shadow side is the Capricorn, um, the devil, the devil uh, card in this deck. Um, so next to the shadow side with the justice card, in regards to your finances, if you felt at any point that you've been taken for granted in the business front, or like people are not taking notice of your work ethic and how hard you've been working to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in whatever business it is that you do for the month of May 2018. Um, the devil card is definitely a positive card because this is the Capricorn card and it signifies being able to get to a point where you're going to find the financial stability you've been looking for. With the justice card right next to it, people are definitely taking notice of the work ethic and the effort that you've been putting in the business or whatever it is that you do. Um, it's almost like a feeling of like people praising you, people really admiring your work ethic and being noticed more than anything because the Capricorn is the status. Um, so again, this is definitely a positive thing uh, for the month of May. And you have two major arcana, so there's a lot of major transitions and changes happening for you Scorpios out there. In regards to the element of fire with the challenge for the month of 2018, May 2018, sorry, you have the Knight of Swords. So as a challenge, the Knight of Swords is definitely talking about, again, we go back to the Justice card, uh, being very straightforward. Um, I guess the challenge here is try the best you can um, to be patient. Uh, don't be very quick to don't be very quick with your tongue and what I mean by that is know and understand that we all go through difficulties um there are some days that we wake up with a bad attitude and other days where we wake up super patient um but be mindful about the way you express yourself or the way you communicate because other people that may not have such a strong temper like you you may come across as very forceful as very rude in a way um, so be mindful about that, um, and try the best you can not to be like, don't get annoyed in regards to business and finances. Don't get annoyed when you're dealing with the person that perhaps is not as fast as you are, perhaps is not as to the point, someone that could be a bit, you know, emotional, uh, be patient with that because with the Knight of Swords, I feel that this is a forceful energy. So you're going to be coming off for the month of May 2018. You're going to come come off very strongly. And that could be a good thing. But 
when it has to do with other people and people around you you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable either you don't want to to feel like you know they have to be walking on eggshells when they're around you um but I definitely do see a lot of accomplishments, a lot of moving forward, a lot of charging forward, uh, very strong and very confident about yourself. So this is definitely a good thing. But again, just be mindful about that one thing I said. So anyways, in regards to the water element in your emotions, you have the four of cups. So the four of cups, four of cups, sorry, <clears throat> the four of cups is definitely talking about uh, waiting I feel that four of cups could represent having a missed opportunity or your partner missing out on an opportunity, whether it's finances or whatnot. But in the emotional sector, I feel that you may be finding out for the month of May 2018 that someone is interested in you and you're not interested in them. Um, with the knight here, the knight of swords, you may be dealing with the uh, air sign, which would be an Aquarius, a Libra or a Gemini. And I feel that this comes to, as a news to you. I feel that you didn't know this person was interested in you. But the moment they let you know or the moment you find out that they are actually interested in you. It's like you're not really interested. Uh, but don't be very quick to make up that decision for those of you guys that are single out there. Um, because I feel that this person may, may challenge you. It may be a person that you're not used to dating. But I feel that it, it could be a good thing because it's going to teach you a lot of self-growth. So again, don't be very quick to pass up opportunities because you might feel down the road that you missed an opportunity. And finally, your message for spirits or spirits advice for you for the month of May 2018 is, I can't see, the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is a very beautiful card, and this definitely speaks about the stability, being able to find stability. For some of you Scorpios out there, perhaps you guys are planning or looking towards the future, um, looking for marriage, as I do have the Justice card here and the Four of Wands. And these two cards together are definitely speaking to me about marriage. So for a lot of you guys, you may be taking it to the next level in regards to your relationship. For those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship for quite a while, uh, there's definitely marriage involved. And I feel that there could be talks about that or actually moving forward, making plans with that. But with the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups could feel like you've been stuck in a certain situation for quite a while and then boom, out of nowhere, your partner starts to talk to you about marriage or union or moving in together and taking it to the next level. Uh, Spirit's advice for you is know and understand your self-worth. Understand that stability um, is on the horizon for you guys. Uh, for some of you guys, this may be making plans to actually buy and purchase your first home. I definitely do see a lot of expansion for you guys and a lot of movement in regards to expansion. So expansion could be in regards to relationships. Again, like I said, if you've been in a relationship for a long time and it just hasn't progressed, I definitely do see it take going to the next level for the month of May or having conversations about that. Um, but it can also represent expansion in the business front and finding that st uh, stability you've been looking for for quite a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other soon, uh, the middle of the month, I believe. Okay, bye.